Hi there, welcome back to another Patty Stamps video. This is Patty Bennett, and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful beach scene cards. The secret is using glossy paper. And do you see those really neat layers in the ocean there? I think this is so pretty. Let me show you how to make these. If you'd like to make one with me, the supplies you need to grab are a grid sheet or something to protect your work surface, glossy paper, washi tape or some kind of removable tape, and let me show you the ink pad colors that I have used today. I'll go over all of these as I'm using them, but here is what you're going to need if you want to make this exactly like I've done it. We're going to start with Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, and Soft Suede for the sand and the ocean in this card. And since I've already made several, I have one of these grid sheets that I've already used as my backdrop. And all you need to do is to take one of those or any other scrap paper and you're going to rip them. So you need one that is ripped for the blues, one that is ripped for the soft suede, and then you need a straight edge for blue as well. This could be cardstock, it could be really anything that you want, but I just was using my grid sheets from Stampin' Up! for this. Now I'm peeling off a length of washi tape, and it's very important that you put your piece of glossy cardstock on your grid sheet, line it up with any grid, it doesn't matter which grid, but you just need to have it straight, perpendicular on this sheet. And then I'm going to take the piece that was ripped for blue, and my darker blue, which is Bermuda Bay. And I'm just going to hold it in my hand, flip it over, and I'm just going to pull down like this and add color. And this is going to be my darkest layer of ocean. Now I'm done with Bermuda Bay. So now I'm going to pick up Pool Party, which is my lighter of the two blues. And I'm going to scoot this mask over and kind of tilt it a little bit because I don't, I just didn't want it to repeat the exact same pattern. I wanted it to be a little bit different each time. So I've scooted it over twice, and both times I'm just simply dragging the pad. For the third time, I'm going to take my straight piece, and what I'm doing is lining it up down here and up here, with one of the grids because I want my horizon to be flat. The horizon of the ocean is flat when you look out over the ocean or a lake or whatever. So there I have my flat horizon. Now I am done with Pool Party and I'm going to grab Soft Suede and the mask that I used for the beach and same idea, I'm just stroking with the soft suede. Now this, just itself, doing that, did not make, you can see here, it did not make a very good brown. Here it's much darker. So what I then ended up doing was just pressing my soft suede ink pad onto the glossy paper. And I actually really liked that because of sort of the irregularity that it gave and it looked a lot like sand. So now we can just peel this up, and I was very happy to find that the washi tape did not hurt the glossy paper at all. It did not take off any of the shine or hurt it in any way. So now you can see I have my sand and I have my ocean, and it kind of looks like waves that are coming into shore. Isn't that a cool technique? So next we'll do our stamping. For the stamping, I am using this palm leaf and this grass from the fabulous Flamingo stamp set. I am also using Emerald Envy and Lemon Lime Twist ink. And that is going to create the two-tone here of the palm leaves and then the grass down here. 
So I first took the palm leaf and I worked dark to light. You can work light to dark. It was just my preference. Now with glossy, make sure that you're just pressing straight down, straight up, and holding it for just a second. You do not want this to go sliding across this slick surface because it will, trust me, <laughs> if you're just used to kind of speed stamping like I am. I cleaned off my stamp and I'm going to add just kind of some highlights here with the Lemon Lime Twist. And you can actually stamp a couple of times w without re-inking as you saw me do there. So now we will move on to the grass. And just a tip for this, what I did was I tilted it to the left, I did it straight up, and then I did it to the right, and without re-inking, I went ahead and stamped sort of in between, and that gave a lot of depth and dimension to that grass. To add a little extra touch of red over here, I used this trio of flowers right here from the Hello Friend set. You could use any flowers that you have. It just was kind of fun that they lined up sort of with the tops of the grass and it just added that little extra pop of red that I wanted on the card. For the greeting on this card, I loved these two large images from the Layering Love set and you can see that I used Enjoy the Little Things on several of the cards. I also layered together the Hello Friend, again, from this same Hello Friend set that I was just showing you for the flowers. I put that on some of the cards, and then the Live, Laugh, Love, again, from the Layering Love set. So that's our last bit of stamping, and I did that with Island Indigo so that it would pick up the color of cardstock I used for my base. Now this is a big, bold stamp, so again, when you are stamping on glossy paper, be very careful, just straight down, hold it for a second. You might want to hold on to your card and then pull up and you'll get a nice clean image. If you wiggle at all, this is going to smear just because it is glossy paper. Now just a couple last steps and we're done with this fun card. I die cut the Adirondack chair out of the seasonal layers framelits in real red cardstock and we just want to put some glue on the back or you could use the adhesive sheets, either way, either one would work. This does not take much glue. I've got my fine tip glue pen here and I'm just doing a couple of spots. Really, it doesn't take much. And then I like to handle it with tweezers. It just seems to make it a little bit easier. And I just set it down and then what I did was I took one of my clear blocks and I just set it on there and let that dry for just a minute or two so that I wasn't touching it or I didn't bump it or anything. And then you'll see this cute little red heart. I used these enamel shapes. They come in a package with one sheet of gold and one sheet of silver. And you can see that by coloring them with a Sharpie marker, aren't they beautiful? They are just wonderful. So that was a way to tie in the red. So I've got a trio of red, I've got the blue repeated in the cardstock and the beach, and then I've got the greens repeated over here. I like to kind of tie in and try to use colors more than once. So the last two steps then would be to put your heart onto the card, and then I have some of these cute little drink cups that I stamped and die cut with the seasonal layers bundle and I just stick them onto my roll of glue dots so that I don't lose them and then they're ready to go and so then this should be dry and I'm just going to stick it right there and then the whole card will just get attached 
to my Island Indigo folded card and it's done. Isn't that fun? I just am really enjoying this card design. All of these supplies are available at pattystamps.com. I'd love to help you place an order. You can look below this video either on my blog or on YouTube to get more ordering information. Thanks so much for joining me today. See you again soon.